He was absolutely incredibly tortured by the communists, the police. Incredible. He was just virtually beaten to death. Lo enviaron al campo de la muerte Jungnam de Corea del Norte. Según un informe posterior del FBI, lo acusaron de bigamia. None of the prisoners um, survived in that prison more than 18 months. En su libro Principio Divino, que presenta su teología, Moon dice que sufrió cosas inimaginables por los seres humanos a lo largo de la historia. Sufrió tanto que expió los pecados de la humanidad y se convirtió en un ser perfecto. Reverend Moon was sentenced to death to that death camp for five years imprisonment. En 1950, Corea del Norte invadió el sur. Había comenzado la Guerra Fría, un largo enfrentamiento entre los soviéticos y Occidente. Aunque parezca perverso, la guerra de Corea le salvó la vida a Moon. Los bombarderos de la ONU atacaron la ciudad donde estaba preso. Moon fue liberado en medio del caos. Day before, they were systematically killing all the prisoners, knowing that, you know, UN forces coming up. Before Reverend Moon turned, luckily, the UN forces rushed the gate. Se unió a miles de refugiados que se dirigían al sur para escapar de los comunistas. En una choza mínima, hecha con cajas de víveres del ejército estadounidense, Moon fundó su iglesia de unificación. Con frecuencia, él y sus seguidores no tenían que comer. En las décadas siguientes, Moon se hizo rico y poderoso. El Mesías de Händel se convirtió en su himno. Decía que Moon tenía relaciones sexuales con las conversas para purificarlas. Moon claimed that since he was the perfect man, a perfect Adam, by sleeping with women, he would purify women. And he did tell me that he did those things. Uh, it was God's work. Después de divorciarse de su primera esposa, se casó con una mujer 20 años menor que él, Hak Ya Han. Su nueva esposa y él serían los padres verdaderos de la humanidad. Les decía a todos sus seguidores, amen a sus verdaderos padres más que a sí mismos, que a sus cónyuges o que a sus hijos. La guerra de Corea terminó con un extraño distanciamiento entre el norte y el sur. Surrealista, pero mortal. Era un microcosmos de lo que ocurría en todo el mundo. Moon surgió gracias a la nueva Guerra Fría. Reverend Moon frequently said, the communist goal is to kick out God from the planet. The communist ideology is to take over the entire world, then there is no room for God. We cannot allow God going out of this planet. We need God. Reverend Moon, from the day one, is a truly the anti-communist. Para Moon, la Corea del Norte comunista era satánica, y su líder estalinista, Kim Il Sung, era el diablo. If communists win in Cold War, as the entire world is communized. There's no room for free men to stand. Nadie volvió a reírse de Moon. Se decía que había hecho amigos poderosos, incluido Kim Jong-il, fundador de la nueva y feroz agencia de inteligencia de Corea del Sur, 
la KCIA. Eliminó la disensión. En Washington se supo que Kim Jong-il empleaba la iglesia de Moon como una herramienta política. El futuro de Moon estaba en Estados Unidos. He looked at America as a chosen nation. So, uh, in a most crucial role, must be played by America. Por suerte para Moon, llegó a Estados Unidos en un momento de gran angustia. La guerra de Vietnam había dividido a las generaciones. Las ciudades estadounidenses estaban llenas de jóvenes en busca de respuestas. Pocos sabían por qué algunos estadounidenses morían en Vietnam o por qué sembraban la muerte en un país que apenas conocían. Moon aprovechó estas dudas para fundar su iglesia. Here was a guy who was just seemed to be totally sure. There was just this tremendous energy, tremendous force which he communicated. It was as though his whole body was going to one place, to one point. Ladies, we are not just ordinary Christians. Los Moonies interceptaban a los jóvenes en las calles. Con frecuencia los invitaban a seminarios inofensivos. These, these individuals were just uh, un, unusually open and, and honest and friendly and caring and playful and sweet. Llevaron a Catherine Maser a una casa de Long Island. The name Reverend Moon never came up. I, I actually asked when I was first going with them to the site if they were the Unification Church and I was told no. Un analista del FBI escribió el éxito de Moon depende de tácticas muy sutiles y engañosas. Finalmente le hablaron a Catherine Maser sobre Moon. Él era su verdadero padre y sería peligroso que ella contactara a sus padres reales. Because they could be used by Satan to take away the amazing gift of having met the Messiah, that Satan uses the ones you love to influence you away from the uh, remarkable, un, un, unsurpassable gift you've been given. Sostiene que los Moonies la alentaron a mentirle a su madre por teléfono. No debía decirle dónde estaba. But it was just important, whatever I told her, that I did not tell her that I was involved with the Unification Church. And they were perfectly happy for you to lie. I was encouraged to lie. I was asked to lie. Preocupada, la familia de Catherine fue a buscarla a la casa de Lona Island. Era demasiado tarde. Se había mudado, pero los Moonies no dijeron a dónde. Right. You talk about Finalmente decidió abandonar a los Moonies. I was told stories about other people who had betrayed the Messiah or who had walked away. Something really, really bad could happen to me, whether it be illness or a random act of violence. I mean, I, I was scared. I was terrified. Catherine volvió a casa de su madre. Otros se quedaron para entregarle todo a Moon. They like to talk in the church about the blood, sweat, and tears of Moon. Well, I think, you know, by and large, he's leaving off the blood, sweat, and tears of a lot of members. With this blessing ceremony, I thank you for the way you feel the super highway to you. El mayor honor para un Mooney es que el propio Moon lo case. It's like a, a pyramid marketing scheme. 
and it's embedded in the theology. You, in fact, cannot be married by moon, which is the ultimate blessing according to their theology, until you've brought three people into the church who are ready to die in your place. Once you've brought three people in, then you have the right to be married. You have the right to be blessed by Moon. Moon incluso escoge las parejas, une a completos extraños. The Reverend Moon see the family background and the future. So um, Reverend Moon is sort of a world the finest matchmaker. A veces Moon escoge a los futuros esposos por medio de fotos. Sometimes there's a picture matching, and sometimes the people, um, rows of uh, men and women sit together, and he just picks you, 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 and you're supposed to be husband and wife. And a lot of times, it doesn't work. That marriage is far more durable and lasting longer. Of course, there's some breakages, but not like 50%, you know, that's the world. Welcome to Blessing 97, World Peace Through Ideal Families. La iglesia afirma que Moon ha bendecido millones de parejas en ceremonias, desde Seúl hasta Washington. Incluso en el Hotel New Yorker, de 2,000 habitaciones, adquirido por Moon por varios millones de dólares. He looked down into my eyes, and I felt that he knew everything about me. And then he guided me to where my wife was already standing. And he looked at us, and then he just beckoned to us to, to go. And uh, we went, and we went to another room and, and discussed whether we would like to continue with this match. And I really felt that uh, this was God's choice, and I felt a lot of God's happiness and joy at that time. In algunas ocasiones, estas uniones dieron un giro extraño. If they accept it, they come back in the room, and the first thing that they do in their relationship is they're given a kendo stick. And the woman has to bend over, and the man hits her three times as hard as he can with the kendo stick. And the audience then judges that. If you didn't hit hard enough, the man has to hit her again until the audience accepts the strength of the beating. <laughs> then the woman turns around, and she beats the man. And it's the same thing. So this is how these marriages made in heaven begin. In los años 70, Moon comenzaba a gozar de gran fama y fortuna. En Asia estaba construyendo un imperio industrial de procesamiento de titanio y ginseng. Elaboraba maquinarias y armas. Con el tiempo, los ingresos de la iglesia crecieron fenomenalmente. I do think that we're talking hundreds of millions of dollars. I don't I don't know how specific beyond that I could be. En Estados Unidos, los Moon invirtieron una fortuna en la compra de hoteles, periódicos, barcos de pesca y terrenos. En una desolada ciudad de Massachusetts, incluso fabricaban ametralladoras. Entre tanto, Moon había hallado amigos de alto rango. Acudió en ayuda de Richard Nixon, acusado por el caso Watergate. Tonight, let me explain to you what I did about Watergate after the break-in occurred, so that you can better understand Reverend the fact that I also made a crusade no the for the rescue of President Nixon. Al tiempo que Washington le pedía la renuncia, los Moonies marchaban a favor del presidente. And meanwhile, you have ABC, NBC, and CBS covering this as though this were some sort of spontaneous demonstration of Americans supporting Nixon, when in fact, every single person in the park was a Mooney who'd been ordered to be there. By Moon. By Moon. En un encuentro con Nixon en la Casa Blanca, Moon le aconsejó que quemara las cintas de Watergate. And there, Reverend Moon, saying that, Mr. President, what you have to do Ask for the forgiveness of the people. En las audiencias del Congreso, se acusó a Moon de conspirar con la inteligencia coreana para comprar influencias en Washington. Well, I'll tell you what, Colonel, we'll split the difference. How's 10 minutes? Never before or since had we seen such a blatant attempt to influence our political, uh, social, and cultural institutions. Could you kindly give me five more minutes? I said 15 minutes. So there was no doubt to you that the KCIA and Moon were hand in hand? There was no doubt. 
A mediados de los 70, Moon estaba en la cima de su poder y realizaba grandes eventos en las ciudades de Estados Unidos. La iglesia afirmaba que 300.000 personas asistieron a este evento en Washington. En privado, los investigadores pensaban que Moon formaba parte de un plan de la KCIA para asumir el control de Washington. Moon le pidió a Allen Tate Wood que hallara aliados en la comunidad militar y de inteligencia. His key strategy was, we will find some powerful man or some powerful organization and we will find out what their agenda is and then we will attend them and serve them and eventually they'll come to recognize in us their greatest ally and at that point we then begin to be able to dictate to them. We shall never let it down! Never! 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 Thank you. Lord is my shepherd. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I feel no evil, for thou art with me. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Bo Hipak negó los alegatos de que su maestro fuera controlado por la KCIA. They were trying to crush our movement through the congressional hearing. Sorpresivamente, Pak acusó al director del Comité de Ser Espía Soviético. El comité, en cambio, acusó a Moon de violar las leyes bancarias, fiscales y de inmigración de Estados Unidos. If you were against him, if you were threatening his objectives, uh, you were the devil. Según el comité, nadie se daba cuenta de lo peligroso que era Moon porque no se tomaban la molestia de escuchar sus discursos. Un día mis palabras serán ley. Si deseo algo, se hará. Moon esperaba que hubiera un apocalipsis sangriento en la frontera coreana, del cual emergería como líder de la Corea Unida y luego del mundo. And he said, in this final battle, the only way for the forces of good to win may be to force the world to wake up. And he said, the way we'll do that is we'll send thousands and thousands of Unification Church members and place them on the border, the demilitarized zone in, in between North and South Korea. And he said, if the North Koreans attack, then the Unification Church members will be the first people to be killed. If we can have a lot of young people killed who are from England, France, Germany, the United States, that will force those nations to come in on the side of South Korea. He would talk to us for hours and hours and hours about how God is searching for a nation. He's, he wants to get Korea, but if he can't get Korea, then he'll try to get the United States. If he can get the United States, then he'll get Japan. And if he can get the United States and Japan and then England, if he can get those three nations, then he'll quickly grab seven. And once he's got seven, then he will swallow the whole world. En 1982, una joven coreana llegó a la urbanización de Moon en las afueras de Nueva York. It was absolutely beautiful. Big mansions, big rooms. The room that I stayed, it was like a princess room. Moon la había escogido para que desposara a uno de sus hijos. Apenas tenía 15 años. Every time we see him, we have to have full bow. And he was God. He was really God for everybody. Dentro de la urbanización, todo se manejaba como en una fortaleza. There's inside world and outside world. Um, there were outside people and there were us. Uh, we were the chosen people and outside people are satanic people. Vio cómo llegaban de Asia los líderes de su iglesia con bolsos llenos de dinero para los Moon. It's so uh, sometimes a million dollars, sometimes two million dollars, sometimes two hundred thousand. But for them, it's really not a lot of money for their own personal use. En público, Moon despotricaba contra las apuestas, pero Nansuk dice que la llevó a ella y el resto de su séquito a Las Vegas. Un asistente apostaba por él. Did you say to him, Father, I thought we were supposed not to gamble? No, of course not. That's <laughs> if I wanted to die, maybe. No, <laughs> no, that's uh, we never raised any questions or doubts. We just had to be there accepting. Si Moon pensaba que estaba a salvo de las leyes terrenales, se equivocaba. Fue acusado por evasión de impuestos. 
not paying your taxes, um, withholding payroll taxes, paying people under the table cash so we didn't have to pay the government money. That saved father money, so therefore it was okay. It was doing God's will because anything that supported Moon or supported the agenda was doing God's will. Le pidió a Dios que lo liberara. He prayed on the Holy Rock every morning, and so did a lot of us. We were there all night praying for Moon, but it seems like nothing worked. Moon fue encarcelado en 1984. The trial judge himself said quite openly that, of course, were his religion less controversial, the government would have had less interest in pursuing the matter. Justice the will be done. Justice. Para los Moonies, su maestro era víctima de sus creencias y era martirizado por un departamento de justicia intolerante y racista. Según Moon, para alcanzar su lugar en el cielo, su hijo fallecido necesitaba una esposa. And so they took his body, I suppose, in a coffin and went ahead with the marriage ceremony. He was married, uh, the corpse was married to Bohe Park's daughter. Julia Moon, hija de la mano derecha de Moon, dirige su compañía internacional de ballet. And so she married uh, with his picture in his arm, in her, um, her arms. And um, it was strange, but we simply accepted the fact that that was the case. Hallaron un bebé y se lo entregaron a Julia para que lo educara junto a su esposo fallecido. We had the wedding ceremony, we had um, entertainment. So it was an ordinary wedding except the bridegroom wasn't there. Ex yeah, exactly, yes. Gran parte de la fortuna de Moon llegaba a manos de sus hijos. Nansuk dice que su esposo, Hyo Jin, gastaba el dinero en cocaína en Harlem. Cuando estaba drogado, la amenazaba. A lot of times he kept saying he was going to kill me, he was killing me. There was a point that I knew he was going to kill me. But I knew when he was drunk enough, he was high enough, he was, gonna, he was capable of doing anything. Tras ser agredida físicamente, huyó del hogar de los Moon con sus hijos. La muerte del hijo de Moon, Yong Jin, al caer del decimoséptimo piso de un hotel de Reno, sigue siendo un misterio. Finalmente queda el ímpetu y la verdadera naturaleza de su padre. Algunos opinan que un megalómano les robó sus bienes y sus vidas. You know, sometimes when I think about it, the, um, the loss of time and the, uh, and the violation is so great that... Otros dicen que Moon ha llenado sus vidas de significado y por eso lo reverencian. Reverend Moon will be known far more, far greater in the next hundred years, next thousand years. And uh, he will be known as the man who truly brought the truth and changed the world. Not but the bullet and fire, however, by the Spirit of God, and the truth of God. He brought them more change here on earth than anybody else. Moon sostiene que después de su muerte, dirigirá su iglesia desde el mundo espiritual.